Okay, now I made this video here a couple, three days ago that you're looking at right here. Addressing staying insane amongst the insanity and Steve Hoka. Okay. And now the reason I'm doing this video here is for this reason right here. Okay. I want you to look at the comments. What does this appear to be? It appears to be Steve Hoka, doesn't it? Bill, let's do an interview soon. Now, I had left a reply, but I've removed that reply for good reason. Okay? What I have done is this. Here's Steve Hoka's page right here. This is Steve Hoka. Here's his latest video two days ago. I'll open that up for you to see. We're not going to play it. And I'm going to show you something right here. I brought it over here and I have two replies. Ask Steve himself. Okay. Well, let's do an interview. I copy and pasted them over here. I want Steve to see this. Okay. Here's the link that I left him. I'm going to show you what that link is. Okay. Let's go back to my video. Let's go back to what appears to be Steve. Let's go to his page. What do we see here, people? Zero videos. One subscriber. This channel don't have any content. One subscriber. Steve Hoka. So this is the person who left the comment. Slam Steve in any Shut up, Bill. Yep, that's right. I told myself to shut up. <laughs> okay. So I'm showing you this so you can see it with your own eyes. This is the comment that was left nine hours ago. It appeared to be Steve Hoka. So we go back to... Steve Hoka's channel. What do we got? Hmm, 1,700. That's right. We have videos. That's right, because Steve makes videos. That's right. We're on Steve Hoka's road channel here, right here. Okay? But when we go to the comment, it looks to be from Steve. See the little guitar and see the name. And we go to this channel. It's clearly not Steve. If it is Steve, why would Steve open two channels with the same name and the same logo? Do you follow what I'm saying? So... I've removed the comment that I left for that reason. Because I'm not going to take any chances. Anyway at all. That it's not even Steve. So to the person. Who's. Pretending to be Steve. If it is Steve. He can clarify this himself. And if it's not Steve. I'm sure Steve would be interested in seeing. If somebody. Is trolling him. Okay, and definitely playing mind games right here, which would be a very sick individual. I have a name in mind who might be behind this if it's not Steve himself. I really do. Who's made himself very known as a troll to the public. Who used to be part of TFL. Okay, whose names have brought up, been brought up through the years quite often who used to host a show with me by the name of Dwayne Holloway. I would not put this past Dwayne at all. I know Dwayne from the years that we were, I was involved with him. I know him on a personal level to know that I would not, that Dwayne is very possibly doing this, okay? Not saying he is, because I have nothing to back that up, okay? But I'm showing you and I'm telling you what I do know about Dwayne. And there's a good chance, if this is not Steve Oak himself, that this is Dwayne Howard. Who pulled this? 
He's probably smirking and laughing under his breath right now if it is him because he thinks it makes him funny. And the only thing I'd have to say to him if it is him, he's smirking and laughing about this. Well, I wonder if you'll be laughing about this, Dwayne, if it is you. And if it's not you, to the sick individual who done this, because they definitely have mental issues, that stands out, okay? Because why would Steve Holka not leave if he actually left that reply? Why would he not do it from his own channel? Think about that. Why would I be able to click on that and not go to Steve's page? Why would I go to another Steve's page? See? No. I don't buy that. That's the reason I removed the comment. But don't worry, if Steve Hoke actually does make contact with me, it won't be through the email that you might have. And if it is who I suspect it may be, he already has that email anyhow, so no big deal. I've got more than one email. I mean, I can just share another email with Steve, the real Steve, just that quick. So it would be a complete, utter waste of your time. But the one thing's for sure, I'm exposing this so people see it for what it really is. Okay, this is the comment that was left. Bill, let's do an interview soon. From somebody pretending to be Steve Hoka. Or is it Steve Hoka? Does he, Steve, have two channels mimicking his own self from one he's not using as a backup? Possible. Could have you sent me an email from that account so nobody else seen it? Possible. But why am I doing this? Because if it's not, Steve. Steve will know it's not Steve. That's correct, right? Right. And then Steve will get a chance to see this for himself and see that we have an imposter here playing like they're him. Okay? And if it's Steve's channel, I think Steve's man enough to come up and say, yeah, that was me. That's my backup channel, whatever, you know. Which is all fine, okay? There's no big deal about it. But, you know, if it's not Steve, then I think it's only fair that Steve sees this himself so that he understands and knows that this is going on. And if it's not Steve, then the person responsible for it, whether it's Dwayne or somebody else, doesn't matter. Then if it's not Steve Hoka, you would be clearly exposed to somebody who has mental issues. That's right, mental issues. Okay, and if you don't like them words, I can't help that any. You're the one doing it, right? That's right. Really fair. Okay, this is not something somebody who's not playing mind games or exhibiting mental issues would do. Somebody that don't have mental problems wouldn't do this. Okay? That's the reason I've done this video. So I wanted to show you. Here's what we did. I removed the reply. So I'm going to go this way. If the real Steve Hoka... <laughs> That's right, the real Steve Hoka. When you see this, if this is not you, and this is fraudulent, please address this for the public to see. Okay? That's all I could ask you. It's up to you, okay? But I don't think you would appreciate somebody running around pretending they are you. Neither. So, you know. So I thought I'd show you this. There's the link I left. Okay? And Steve wants to find this. All he's got to do is come to my channel and look for this video addressing staying insane amongst insanity and Steve Hoka. And I'll leave this here. But of course, if this comment disappears, that would be our troll who removed it because I'm not removing it. But removing it now would be pointless, wouldn't it? Because I've already showed the world who you are. Or at least who this channel is, right? That it's definitely not Steve Hoka. And if it is Steve Hoka, then the question would remain, unless this is a backup and he chose to use it from that backup, which to me don't make any sense. Okay? Not only really don't. Saying... Not that it isn't Steve's channel, but it makes no sense why he wouldn't just reply to me, go to my video and reply to me from his actual page. Yeah. I think you all understand where I'm going here. Why wouldn't Steve just reply to me from his actual page? Why would he go to another one? Do you follow where I'm going here? 
that's the reason I'm doing this video. So just a heads up that I suspect we have a troll playing games, mind games here, pretending to be Steve Hoka. Now, I'm not saying it is Dwayne Holloway. I'm just telling you Dwayne Holloway is known for doing this kind of stuff. The guy does have mental issues, okay? He has shown that over the years. The guy actually needs some mental help. I guess he's got nothing else in his life to do, you know? Because I really don't think this is Steve, and not just anybody's going to do something like this, but this is something, this is something Dwayne would do. There's no doubt about it. Because I've seen Dwayne do stuff like this in the past. I've seen him go to great lengths to mimic somebody's page before and show it to me laughing. And it wasn't even that person. And then somebody wrote that account thinking they were talking to that person. And he come calling me up, showing me the email they sent laughing because they wasn't talking to that person. They were talking to him. That is somebody with mental issues, just so that you know, okay? And because I've seen this from Dwayne and he's personally showed it to me himself. I know that Dwayne does this type of stuff, and over the last few years, Dwayne has showed himself, showed his colors a thousand times over to the public, okay? If people know it's him doing it, don't matter if he denies it, he's been caught red-handed, everybody knows he's the one doing it, and that is somebody who has mental issues, what can I say? With that being said, I'm going to get on out of here, okay? And if the real Steve Hoka wants to show up and give his input, I would appreciate that. Okay, whether or not he wants to do an interview soon is totally up to Steve. But with that being said, I'm out of here.